Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. It's not a gun problem. It, it's, it's certainly a cultural problem. Here's some data to back that up. So on your show yesterday, you talked about breaking up the nuclear family. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with that language because I think there's a lot of ways to make a family. But there, there is something about uh, not having a strong male role model in the home. Like, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yep. So here's some data that I found. Uh, and this is I've, I've verified this. <clears throat> of the 27 most deadly mass shooters in U.S. history, only one was raised from childhood by his biological father. Mm-hmm. Really? 26 out of 27 were raised either by some abusive asshole or no father at all. Yeah. Like, that is overwhelming data. Yeah, that's a shocking amount. I did not yeah. know that, actually. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, well, you look at you, you look at any social work, any DSM five, and all this stuff uh, in in existence. Any kind of mental health, anything or developmental book, it'll point that you know it has been proven time and time again that the most definitive presence in a uh, adolescent or a child's life that that affects them in their adult life is the father or the father figure. Yeah. kind of thing and and anyone that was lacking that in some way they have problems in some regard it's Trust not issues, yeah and, and when you say in some kind of regard stuff. it's it's uh violent crime in general and there's yep. statistical correlation with uh criminal behavior with drug use with dropping out of school with and with people in prison it's overwhelming something like 60 percent of people are in prison right now had the same issue as these 26 out of 27 guys it's mm-hmm. overwhelming so man i don't it's it's so funny in a, in a sad way to hear all this bullshit about toxic masculinity um, and that being the cause of all this. And the abs- the, I'll tell you, the overwhelming statistical evidence says that there's actually an absence of ma- masculinity. Oh, yeah. And of male yeah. role models. And there's a causal link between that and violent behavior. Masculinity is an evolutionary trait that is specifically designed to have men, which is the physically stronger gender, protect themselves protect their family protect their tribe that's why it fucking exists like whether you believe in god or evolution or whatever the case is that particular trait exists for protection reasons and exactly if you're not exercising it in a protective manner your dna is going to find a way to fucking use it one way or another and if you don't have that male role model early in your life saying hey this is what a man is a man protects people they don't hurt people unnecessarily like they don't fucking get insecure and lash out they fucking are strong and they are strong for other people more importantly yep. like uh what's what's his name glendon oakley Is right that, yeah yeah the, the guy the guy that ran in uh yeah, yeah. and he's an army kids, yeah. army specialist or pfc i don't know what he is um <clears throat> and anyways yeah, yeah yeah i don't know um it's literally that is literally the reason that masculinity exists in human beings it's for mm-hmm. that specific purpose so to tell me that that's toxic fuck off like, yeah. Show me, show me the evidence of tox- toxic mas- masculinity where dudes who are actual alphas. You don't see fucking jock quarterbacks blowing up fucking people in schools. You don't yeah. see it. You see little nerdy fucking bitches, man. Like, yeah, living in their mom's basement. Yeah. yeah. And they've got a problem with the world because they haven't been laid enough or the girl yeah. that they liked didn't call them back. It's always the same right. thing. 26 <clears throat> out of 27 of the deadliest mass shooters in U.S. history had no father. Right. Now, the yeah. end. It, that is the yeah. end of the conversation. Well, it's the I beginning, agree. actually, of the conversation because uh, that brings up to me, and I, I know you, this is kind of wonky too, but there's a, a doctor in the 80s called Shaw, and he has this theory called personal pathway model, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> it was actually meant to deter violent crime and terrorism. Uh, I studied this in, in, for my master's degree. Um, <clears throat> the general idea is that there are points of inflection during people's lives, like the early social socialization process being taught police are bad, for example, or the violence is okay. And not necessarily being taught that directly by, by, by witnessing the actions of others, like a, a bad male role model or no male role model. And you see shit on TV or whatever the case is. Right. right? And then <clears throat> usually there's some kind of narcissistic, narcissistic injury, some kind of bruising to your ego, like a girl that you like not liking you back or being rejected. Never happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like False. being, re- never happened, being never. rejected by your dad. And then there's something called escalatory events, like a breakup or a death in the family, a political events or losing your job or whatever the case is. So Shaw theorized that we can find these points of interdiction where we can stop this shit from happening. We can stop these people from becoming what they might become like a terrorist, for example, right? Which is why 
when we bailed out of Afghanistan in the 80s, after we fucking, you know, took care of business here, of course the Taliban was going to come in. Of course they were. Because mm-hmm. there was a fucking vacuum. If we had stayed and done what, uh, <coughs> what's his name? Charlie Wilson uh, from Texas, actually, wanted to do, which is spend a billion dollars on schools there, we would not be in Afghanistan fighting right now. Absolutely. What are we doing in Chicago? We're not spending money on schools. They have the most corrupt oh, political yeah. organization. Three of the last five governors have spent time in prison, motherfucker. Yeah. So don't come <laughs> to me yeah. with this bullshit about guns being intrinsically evil. No, you're evil, bitch. Fuck yeah. you.